Hi Scorpio, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Scorpio with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we're gonna pull one card for love. What do we have for love for Scorpio? What cards do we have for love? All right, let's see. We've got two cards coming out, Eight of Swords and the Three of Wands. So somebody wants you to come or this is you, Scorpio. Somebody feels trapped, stuck, like you're clinging to them for dear life. It could be a Gemini, or this is how you feel about a Gemini. They're holding on to you for dear life in terms of a love relationship. Um, maybe you kept the relationship together. You saw the long view, or you took the long view, or you were the one who projected out, or you're the one who held things together. And now this person is feeling like, they're stuck without you or they can't do without you or they just given up agency in their life to make any changes. They're waiting for you or you're waiting for them. There's an energy of just being stuck. Negative thoughts circling. Um, somebody could even be in jail. If somebody is not in jail, then it's more so they're in their own mental prison about um, what should I do? They don't have a plan. Then they go back to negativity. Then they go back. It's just it's too much. Um, and they could even be trying to project this on you, a Scorpio, or this is what you're doing. Um, somebody's holding something up or holding something back. Or somebody feels like this is where being good nature gets me. It gets me in a place of feeling stuck, stagnant, and waiting for this other person. Therefore, I'm going to take the lead on this. Or I'm going to be the boss in this relationship. Or I'm going to call the shots. Uh, I'm not going to wait on this person. Okay. Uh, let's see what's going on for you in career, career finance. Okay. The 10 of cups. Very nice. So, um, I heard having it your way. Um, there also could be maybe a family member approaching you with a business idea, business venture could be a Piscean, um, maybe a father or a male figure is significant in your life or in, in, in terms of your career and finances. Um, the Ten of Cups also talks about um, being fortunate after a very difficult period. Maybe you went through something in, in terms of your finances. Yeah, the Death card, you coming out, wanted to come out. So there was complete transformation, an ending, new beginning. You rebirthed something or you brought yourself back to life. This could even be like um, redefining yourself or, yeah, um, yeah, redefining yourself to the world or um, coming out an, anew or renewed or this could even be severing ties with like old loyalties maybe an old relationship and now you're um, presenting yourself in a different manner therefore it's ushering in new energy um, some of you there's a lot of happiness here in terms of career you may do something with families or you involve your family or you've involved your family in a business or business venture. Let's see what the shells have to offer you, Scorpio. Okay. So, yeah, um, we've got run, leave. Maybe you have to run away from or you want to run away from somebody in terms of a relationship because somebody's too clingy or they're holding on to you. or I don't know. It could be lies uh, even, Scorpio, that maybe you said or someone else said there's lack there's lack of effort somebody's lies um someone who that maybe you lived in a home with or you shared a home with uh mental issues you can feel like somebody has mental issues with the eight of swords here you just want all of this to stop okay father i said father was significant here father coming out of father of your children or the father of you you know your father could be significant in your life um whether the lack of you know, having a father or um, the very um, assuring presence of having your father in your life. Um, but it's playing a significant role in maybe love relationship also, uh, maybe even in career and finance. You've got some guidance here. If you do have your father in your life or the father of um, maybe your children uh, sustained you, this could even be alimony, uh, child support, uh, something of that nature. Um, somebody could still be stuck on you, okay, or you stuck on them, but it looks like somebody is running, leaving, not sticking around for the lies or the deception. 
this could be you, Scorpio. This is what I have for you. If it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book your own reading there. Um, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Some of you feel like you need to separate from a relationship because it's going to have you stuck. You're just going out and branching out on your own, leaving the connection behind. Mm -hmm. Get your own reading. Readings are 40% off. Use code 40 off at the checkout at checkout on the website. Ask a question by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Take care.